Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ and welcome to the Complete Beginner's Guide to PayPal. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at creating a PayPal account, sending funds from PayPal, receiving funds in PayPal and transferring funds from and to a bank account. First of all, we'll take a look at creating a personal PayPal account, which should take no more than five minutes. In this video, I'll show you the basic setup of a personal PayPal account. Although please note upgrading to a business account once you've set the basics is a walk in the park. If you are a little skeptical about creating an account, note that the setup will only take approximately five minutes plus signing up is free. Over 225 million users in 200 countries choose PayPal to handle their online transactions, making it the most popular payment processor. Before you follow along to create your own account, do a quick check to make sure that PayPal offers its services in the country in which you live. While PayPal is supported in the majority of countries, there are still a few in which the service is not available. If you do find yourself in one of those countries, Stripe may work out better for you. To complete the full setup, you'll need to link your account to a bank card so that you can start sending money to family, friends or even your employees. You'll also need to have a valid email that you can access be able to provide your first and last name along with your address and phone number. So be sure to have this information handy as you follow along. You'll also need to create a strong password for your account and come up with two unique security questions. But we'll take a look at these a little further into the tutorial. So first things first, you'll need to jump online and go to www paypal.com or simply just type PayPal into Google. Once you're on PayPal's site, in the top right hand corner, you'll see a sign up button to create an account. Click this button. On the next page, choose to create a personal account unless you intend on making this strictly an account for your business. It's here that we'll complete the first step of the sign up process. So I'll click on the sign up now. We'll need to choose the country in which we live from the drop down, state our full name, our email, and create a strong password. Note that your password must be at least eight characters long and the password is case sensitive. So I'll go ahead and I'll fill in those details now. So I've gone ahead and I've entered in all my details for the PayPal sign up. I've chosen my country, my first name, middle name, last name. I've entered in my email address and I've created a strong password. I've chosen for this computer to remember my login details. So I'll choose the next button to proceed to the next step of the sign up. The next step involves entering our date of birth and our address as well as our mobile number. So I'll now go ahead and I'll fill in those details. I've filled in those fields about the mobile number, address and date of birth. So I'll now need to read PayPal's user agreement and privacy statement and choose if I would like to receive marketing communications from PayPal. If I want to, I'll just mark this checkbox, but I'll leave that unmarked for now. So if I agree, I'll click the agree and create an account button. So I'll go ahead and do that now. That brings us to our next step where we'll need to verify that we're the real account owner and we'll need to link a bank account. So I'll click the send money, try it now to take me to the next step. It's here that I'll need to link in my credit card to complete the next step of the PayPal sign up process. If you don't have a credit card or a card that you'd like to link to your PayPal account, you can link your bank account instead. So you just do this by clicking the link a bank account instead button. So I'll do that now. This brings you to a different page where you'll need to enter in your bank account BSB, account number and bank name, and then click the link bank account button. Once you've entered in your bank account details, PayPal will send two small deposits of a couple of cents each to your bank account, which you'll then need to confirm. This proves that you are the real bank account holder. Once you've confirmed your bank account or your credit card, you'll need to quickly jump onto your email account that you link to the PayPal. PayPal will send you an email to confirm your address. So just click the confirm email address and you'll need to enter in your password and click the confirm email button. 
my email address is being confirmed and I can confirm my phone number at the same time, although I'll show you how to do that in the next step. Once you've linked a bank account or a credit card to your PayPal account, the account setup is complete. I have not linked a bank account or a card as of yet, but I'm still able to access my PayPal dashboard. This means I just won't be able to send any money to my family friends or make online purchases until I've linked my bank account or my credit card. Furthermore, I won't be able to send or receive any money until I've confirmed my mobile number. So I can do this by clicking the confirm your mobile number button. Then they'll send me a text with a unique code that I'll need to enter correctly. So that will confirm my number. After I've linked my bank account and I've confirmed my mobile number, I've successfully completed a basic setup of my PayPal account. I mentioned earlier that you need to create some security questions to further protect your account. So you'll need to click on the TOG button and then on security and you'll see the section security questions. You can choose two security questions and that will further protect your PayPal account. So you can do that by clicking the create button. Now that we have created our very own personal PayPal account, we'll take a look at how you can send money from your PayPal to another PayPal. This is a useful tutorial if you need to send money to a family member, a friend or an employee. Sending your very first sum of money from PayPal can be daunting, so hopefully after watching this video you feel a little bit more confident in hitting the send money button. So once you've logged into your PayPal account, you'll need to click on the money menu. That'll take you to this page here. Before you go ahead and click on the send money button, Please review the seller fees to make sure you're happy with the PayPal fee that your type of transaction may incur. Depending on who you are sending money to will generally dictate the type of fee. We'll be taking a look at sending money for goods and services and sending money to friends and family in this tutorial. Once you've taken a look at the seller fees, go ahead and click that send money button. You'll now need to decide who you'll be sending money to. If you're purchasing an item, it's a good idea to choose the pay for goods and services option as this gives you something to fall back on if the item is not sent or it is not as it was described. This will not charge you a fee but the recipient will, will incur a fee. If you're purchasing an item on the Facebook marketplace, make sure that the seller knows that they'll incur a small PayPal transaction fee. If you're sending money to a relative or friend for a special occasion, Pick the send to family and friends button. This option is often free depending on your geographic location. So in this tutorial, we'll be sending money to friends and family. On the send money to friends and family page, you'll notice a couple of people down the bottom that you've previously sent money to. You can click on these people and you can resend money to them or you can enter an email, mobile number or name of someone else that you'd like to send money to. So I'll just be entering an email in here. Once you've entered in the email, click the next button. Enter the amount that you'd like to send and pick the currency of the amount you'd like to send. So I'll just be sending five cents for the purpose of this demonstration. And you can add a note for what the money's for. Then you'll need to click the continue button. I can choose how I'd like to pay my Australian balance, my US balance, or my card, and then I can click the next button. I can also add a new card at this stage if I feel I need to. I can send the money now and I'll incur no transaction fee. So I've sent the five cents to saxonandsunday at gmail.com. Now that we've learned how to send some money from our PayPal account to another PayPal account, We'll look at how we can receive money in our PayPal account. Once someone knows your PayPal email or you have linked your account to an e-commerce plugin such as the eStore, receiving money in your account is easy. There isn't a whole lot to receiving money in your account, but I'll show you where the transaction can be found and where your balance is shown. If you're expecting money in your account, the first step is to log in. You may notice when you log in that there has been an increase to your account balance. A transfer from one PayPal account to another is almost instant, so receiving money is generally a speedy process. If this is the first payment into your PayPal account, you'll need to approve it 
but after that, the payments sent will automatically appear in your account. You may be wondering, how do you know whether someone has deposited money into your account? PayPal will notify you by email when someone has sent money to your account. That way you can jump on and ensure they've sent the correct amount. Furthermore, you can also expect to be sent a text message when a payment is sent. The email sent via PayPal outlines the total amount of money sent, the transaction ID, so you can locate this in your account, the date and by who the money was sent. I'll show you how you can locate a payment made into your account by transaction ID. So you'll need to simply copy the ID from the PayPal email you received stating that money had been transferred into your account. Then once you're in your PayPal account, click on the activity menu, which I've gone ahead and I've already done. And then you'll need to paste the copied transaction ID into the search bar. So I've just gone ahead and done that. And then you'll need to click the enter button. If you have copied the correct transaction ID, you'll be able to see further details about the payment that was made to you. So here I can see it was made on the 11th of January 2019 and the payment was Tips and Tricks HQ. It was completed and I received 48 Australian dollars. If I had logged into my PayPal account on the day that that transaction was made, it would have been one of the top transactions under the summaries menu. I'll now show you the money menu, which is where you can see the exact amount of money you have in your account in terms of differing currencies. From this menu as well, you can request money from your customers, family or friends. PayPal even has a nice feature that allows you to create a basic invoice that your customers can click on and directly deposit that amount of money into your PayPal account. I've gone ahead and I've clicked on the money menu, which shows me a better breakdown of the money that I currently have sitting in my account. I can click on the send or request money menu to create an invoice if I'm expecting a customer to send me money. So in the send or request money menu, I need to go under the request money section and it's here that I can click on the create an invoice button if I wish to. If you're wondering what information you would need to give someone to send you money directly on PayPal, the answer is only your PayPal email. They can locate and send you money from their PayPal by just knowing your correct PayPal email address. Once they've sent you the money owed, you can choose to leave the money in your account. Maybe you have some online shopping to take care of, or you can choose to send the money to your bank account. While you can receive money from another PayPal account holder, you can also transfer funds from your bank account to your PayPal account, and we'll look at how you can do that now. To be able to send money to your PayPal, you'll need to have linked your bank account or bank card. So you'll need to log into your PayPal account by heading to www.paypal.com. Once you're in your account, transferring money from your bank account to your PayPal or transferring money from your PayPal to your bank is very straightforward. Simply click on the money menu, which I've gone ahead and already done. Then you'll need to click on transfer money. To transfer money from your bank account to your PayPal, in the from drop down menu, choose your card. So my card's right here. Then in the to drop down menu, choose your PayPal balance that you wish to transfer money to. If you wish to transfer money from your PayPal balance to your card, you would choose your PayPal balance as the from and your bank account as the to. Once you've picked the accounts correctly in the from and the to drop downs, specify the amount that you wish to transfer. In this example, I'll just be transferring 50 cents. Click the continue button. Once you review what you intend on transferring, click the transfer button. Please note the estimated arrival of the transfer. So I've now successfully transferred money. In the review, the expected delivery of the money I transferred was three to five days. This means that I can expect the money to hit my PayPal account in up to five days from today. A record of the bank transfer can be viewed under the summary menu. At 3.37 p.m. I can see that the transfer of 50 cents from my bank account to my PayPal account occurred. This transaction is labelled as processing due to the fact the money has not yet hit my PayPal account. You can then go ahead and click on this transaction to view further details. In the transaction details page, you can see where the funds have been transferred from, when they should appear in your account, and how much of a PayPal fee will occur. 
So that is the basics of transferring money from a bank account to your PayPal account. The process to transfer money from PayPal straight back into your bank is quite similar. Once the money reaches your PayPal account, this money can then be used on sites where PayPal is accepted or to be transferred to family, friends or employees. That concludes our complete beginner's guide to PayPal. You should now have the knowledge to create a PayPal account, send funds from PayPal, receive funds in PayPal and transfer funds from or to a bank account. If you have any further questions on these four different aspects of PayPal, please comment them below.